Barbara, you're right. A lot of people do rely on this transportation every single day. It's four o'clock on a Friday and the bus station is quite bustling. It's quite busy. Actually, pre pandemic HRT reported that every single day about 45,000 people from the south side to the peninsula use the HRT bus routes, and that's why they say that these big changes are needed. So let's talk more about those changes that are up and coming. That's where federal funding comes in to make these changes. Representative Elaine Luria and Bobby Scott were in town today talking about the funding through the bipartisan infrastructure bill. President Biden is expected to sign the legislation in the coming days, and we're told money will then be poured directly into Hampton Roads. HRT has a plan to address more routes, add more routes with faster commutes and fill the 90 open bus operator positions. Congresswoman Luria says they'll work closely with region leaders to apply for these grants. There's going to be seven billion dollars uh, for highways for Virginia, about 500 million for bridges and tunnels. Um, also expecting to see additional funding for the port. Uh, port infrastructure is incredibly important. Some of the changes that you'll see here at the HRT include more electric buses and more benches and lighting at different bus shelters all across the area. Leaders say that these changes are coming once that federal bill is signed and passed and that money can then be filtered down into cities here like Norfolk and the rest of Hampton Roads. Now coming up on News 3 at 5, you will hear directly from riders of these buses and what changes they want to see. Live in Norfolk, Aaron Miller, News 3.